Well, hi everybody, and today we're here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and we're gonna head into, well, the kitchen bar to have, well, lunch. And it's a new restaurant here in Pigeon Forge, and we haven't been in there, so we're gonna try it out. You ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. We're here at the Mountain Mile, and this is actually home to, well, the Mountain Monster. It's a great big thrill ride that hasn't been open a whole lot since they uh, actually opened it uh, last year. But I think what they're doing is they're actually waiting for a lot of these businesses here to uh, get opened, actually. So today we're going to go in, we're going to have lunch, then we're going to check out some of the businesses that are open. Of course, we were looking at REI. Are they actually going to have an REI here, which is outdoor equipment for those who uh, don't know about it? That's about ready to open. They actually look like they're stocking their shelves, and it should be pretty close to opening. Okay, well, let's head into well the kitchen bar and see what it's about. This right here will inject you straight up, up there. This water feature is starting to come together. Junction 35 is open Sunday through Thursday from 11 a.m. to 9, and Friday and Saturday from 11 a.m. to 10, and masks are required. Well guys, here's their menu. They have appetizers, they have fried green tomatoes. They also have giant pretzels for $9.99. Ooh, that actually sounds pretty good. They also have wings here. Uh, they got a eight, 12, and 20 count. Hmm. They also have salads. Uh, house salads are $6.99 to $8.99. They have burgers and handheld sandwiches. Texas brisket for $12.99. They also have smoked meat barbecue trays. So they have pulled pork. They have dinners, half slabs. They got mac and cheese, smokehouse mac. They got sides. Junction 35, guys, they have an extensive drink menu if you guys are into uh, drinking. Of course, they have all kinds of moonshine related drinks and they make their own moonshine here. Uh, so yes, the place is very clean. These seats are super comfy. We actually sink down in them. And uh, so yes, so far the service has been very, very good. Uh, we're super excited. Of course, I ordered um, a brisket sandwich and we ordered some wings to share. We also ordered a huge pretzel as an appetizer. And what did you get, Dawn? Right? I got the barbecue nacho. Yeah, yes. So we're gonna get a lot of food today, but this is for a review. Uh, of course, we wanna show you guys what this place has to offer across a broad spectrum. Uh, so we'll probably take some of this food home, but uh, yes, yeah, so a lot of folks were saying, hey, Will and Don, can you get like a broader perspective of food when you do these reviews? So that's what we're gonna try to do. Uh, well, guys, it's here. We have cheddar cheese, 
and this humongous pretzel. Look at the size of that. It's bigger than my hand. It really is. And there you got a honey mustard dip. So this is going to be real. Oh my gosh, it is hot. I'm going to try whatever that is. It's like a honey mustard. What do you think? It might be grape bon. Grape bon? But they're cool. Us. It's like a Barbarian, uh, it's got a little, a little horseradish or something in it. Pardon me, but it's that great coupon. But the cost. <laughs> guys, it's here. Here's the brisket sandwich. And guys, it looks really good and smells really good. Of course, it's got a toasted bun. They ordered their mac and cheese. Of course, this is probably the sauce. Over here, guys, we have the wings. Yeah, these are the honey, uh, bourbon honey barbecue wings. And it comes with some uh, ranch and what have you. And Dawn. Barbecue pork nachos. <laughs> the thing is huge. <laughs> now, I don't know how we're going to eat all this. I think we did overkill. Guys, We, <laughs> it's going to be hard for us to take in all this. We're definitely going to be taking some home. What are you thinking? I want to dig in. Well, go ahead, dig in. Old pork nachos. Got good flavor. Does it? Okay, so I think we got way in over our heads. Um, we ordered way too much. We and I know you guys wanted variety. Well, I don't know. This is a lot, a lot of food. I guess I wasn't expecting to get that much food, but here is the. Uh, macaroni and cheese, it is steaming, it's super hot. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? I ate a jalapeno. Well, don't do that. <laughs> she ate the jalapeno, guys. Okay, here is the brisket sandwich. Um, it's salt and pepper. Let's see if it melts in the mouth. Wow, I'm pleasantly surprised. For being a sandwich, it does melt in your mouth. Come on, you wanna try this little piece of that? Try that. Is it melting in your mouth? Oh yeah, it melts. Yes. Well guys, here's their wings. We're gonna try to see what they're all about. Yeah, they're not bad. They're not bad. It needs the bourbon. Yeah. I don't know if I'm liking the bourbon. Uh -uh. But it's tender. It's crispy on the outside like they should be. It's super, oh, yeah. super, super hot. But and I'm not 100% sure if I like the actual flavor. I'm not liking the bourbon. Yeah, I I probably try something ne different next time. Um, they didn't have any garlic options here, I which is a bummer did. because we're a big garlic wings fan. Anything with garlic in it is that what we like, it. and didn't have it. Well, the giant pretzel is $9.99. The barbecue nachos were $11.99. The Texas brisket was $12.99, and the barbecue wings were $9.99. Our total was $49.34 killed it guys and of course we're taking a lot of it home uh, with us well, look at these uh, really cool like speed shop clothing or or what have you that is, that is really cool what do you think about that they got all types of liqueur they got vodka and citrus and jalapeno, jalapeno, gin. This is where they make it, guys, right here. Well, we're going to head into the, the general store. The general store, we went to go pull on the door, they're actually closed. But it looks like it's just more, you know, uh, your 
your trinkets and, and all your just gift store type stuff in there. Well, a lot of the businesses are not open. Looks like there's some new ones coming. Uh, real soon, a winery, it looks like, and, and what have you. But uh, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and there's not a lot going on here. But because of COVID and everything else, it's making it difficult to get these new businesses up. And well, guys, it's review time. Uh, so, Dawn, what did you think about it? I had the pulled pork nachos. It was really good. Yes. Now, we had... We shared those wings, and I guess we both agreed we didn't like, like the, the sauce, bourbon. the bourbon sauce they had. Um, but we did, um, the, the, the wings were good, though, yeah. themselves. It yes. would have been really good if it weren't for the sauce. Yeah, definitely the sauce was a big turnoff. Um, I also, I had the um, uh, the beef brisket sandwich, and it was really, really, really good. Um, it, yeah, it was awesome all the way around. Uh, we also had that big pretzel, which was really good, too. Now, good. was it the best pretzel I had? No. But was it good? Yes, for $10. We're good. That's it. It was, it was really good. Um, so, yes, the value for this was, I would say, it might be a little bit below that average. Just a little bit. But it's, like, right there around the average. It's about the average price. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a few items on there that are a lot cheaper than others. So, we do a little bit below that average. I think it's a good buy or uh, you know for Pigeon Forge and um, yeah and so I guess the big question we always do and I know in the last review I edited this wrong <laughs> uh, Dawn would you do this again yes uh, yes definitely would do this again guys it's actually really really good um, you know is it my first choice of place to go in Pigeon Forge no but if you're looking for you know the bar type atmosphere and, and what have you definitely uh, worth it guys that's gonna do it for today here in pigeon forge and if you like this vlog give it a thumbs, give up. It a thumbs up also please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming well smoky mountain adventures and like we say in all of our videos until next time thanks for watching bye everyone